Hello guys and welcome to another video on Remnant 2. Now in this video we will be fighting the root nexus boss. Uh, it's more like a siege and this will be a complete guide on how to kill root nexus without taking any damage. And this is in apocalypse difficulty. So let's start. So as soon as you start shooting the root nexus, the first set of enemy that will come will be 4 small holo and 1 uh, big dragon basically the dragon root which can throw a lot of bombs at you now the second point is that uh, it has a threshold criteria when you give it uh, at least 25 percent damage the second phase will start in the second phase he will summon four hollow and two archers so what we can do is we can plan accordingly and when he is about to get to 25 percent health basically 75 percent health and 25% damage done so at that point we will be ready for the two archers and four holo holo or holo i'm not sure how it is pronounced but for now we will call them holo Uh, one good tip will be to use damage or time effects on archer so that uh, even when they teleport they will have that numbers uh, on their head so they will be a little easier to track. The next threshold point is around 50% but sometimes even before that some random enemy will spawn or even the X elite will also come. So I think on this run even X elite will be there before reaching 50% health. So here I am just trying to make sure to keep uh, root nexus just above 50%. So I can use all the bonuses from my relic as well as my skills to increase my damage. Here, here I was preparing for the root nexus to give a big damage to root nexus. But uh, that elite spawned out of somewhere. So we have to take care of him first. So the axe elite is not very difficult to deal with. Only thing is he has a long range attack and other than he is not very fast so it is easier to deal with. Now at 50% root nexus will spawn 6 holo and one big elite basically the ground elite who can go underground and follow you. So this is the most difficult part while doing a no damage run because 6 holos plus this elite with huge health will touch you or will give you some damage here on there so what you can do is keep running away from him and only dodge when it is very necessary otherwise just try to run away from him because he will attack when you have finished your dodge animation and you will just lose your no damage run So as soon as the big root elite is gone, uh, there is means after that it becomes quite easy because that was the hardest part to deal with while fighting root nexus. Uh, we can kill root nexus easily but the only thing is doing no damage it requires extra effort and you have to be extra careful. So after this only I think only one archer is ref and two small dragon roots will be there. So I think these are the second last set of enemies that will come. So it will be around 3 or 4 small root dragons and one archer. So again we can use the same thing just apply a damage over time on archer and you can track him easily because of those green numbers popping over his head. 
just like that so after, at this point the fight is almost over the only thing is uh, some small uh, root dragons might come here and there but other than that all the major part of this fight is complete So I have actually equipped amulet of Ankh that is why you might be uh, wondering why I am using the dragon heart because using dragon heart or the relic with Ankh amulet will actually double your attack so by default it will give you 15% attack bonus and while using the relic for the next 15 to 30 seconds it will give you 30% uh, attack I think it is 15 seconds so that's why it is a good setup when you have a lot of relic to use. So that was root nexus and no damage run on apocalypse. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.